A5.7 Threat Intelligence. This is one of the new controls within ISO 27001 2022. It's exciting, right? Um, this particular control is um, has been introduced because, well, because the world has changed from where we were back in 2013 when ISO 27001 really had its last uh, revamp. So what's required? What does this control uh, look for? Well, it states very clearly that information relating to information security threats shall be collected and analysed to produce threat intelligence. Now, key words here, information relating to information security threats. So going back to another particular control, A5.6, we talked about um, contact with specialist interest groups and professional associations. You will gather threat intelligence from those particular sources as well. It's important to think about threat intelligence in three distinct uh, layers. Strategic threats, tactical and operational threat intelligence. So what you need to have is a documented uh, policy or a procedure that describes how, the, how you will collect that information and how you will analyze it and evaluate it. For instance, you might have a, um, a policy or a procedure or some guidelines that explains very clearly that threat intelligence um, is obtained from special interest groups and professional bodies. It's also obtained from your risk management reviews and also obtained from your, uh, your operational logs. So that's the three layers, the special interest groups, strategic, could be um, uh, coming from the Information Commissioner's Office, the NCSC, the National Cyber Security Center. So that's, a, that's at a strategic level. This is, you're being informed of uh, the threats external to your, you as an organization from professional bodies. So that's where you're getting that information from. Uh, tactically, it could be that you're uh, obtaining threat intelligence from incidents that have occurred within your organization. Results of audits will be a, a source of threat intelligence. Weaknesses within your, your, um, uh, your organization will be identified from a, a vulnerability perspective but um, it could be a threat that you're moving into a different um, uh, different sector, a diff using a different vendors, for instance. So changes within your organization will be tactical levels, for example. And then a very much threat intelligence from an operational perspective could be that you're seeing a spike in fi attempted phishing emails or um, uh, attacks on your, your firewalls, on your websites and such like. So threat intelligence will come at different levels. And what you need to do for 27001 perspective is be able to identify um, uh, where those that, that comes from. And importantly, where that information comes in, how it's collected, and then how you analyze that. Where do you analyze it? Who does the analyzing? Um, it needs to be, it, it needs ultimately to offer you intelligence you need to be able to act upon it. So threat intelligence uh, without action really isn't any intelligence at all. That's just that's just knowledge, right? So think about how you're going to be able to uh, take that information and then communicate it. So that might be through your management review meetings, uh, for example, or it might be through some board reports or some dashboards and such. But it needs to be um, contextualized. It needs to be actionable right because again what's the point in gathering all of this information if if you're not going to do anything with it threat intelligence by another definition another term could be termed as situational awareness what's going on around you threat intelligence allows you to look into the future and say we predict this this is what's happening in the marketplace or within our organization and therefore we need to think about additional uh, security measures that we might put in place. So there's a lot to unpack within this new um, uh, control, but that's why it's exciting, right? Because this is 
looking at uh, your organization from three different levels, strategic, tactical, and operational threat intelligence. There you are. So a new control, A57, uh, 5.7. Um, I hope you found that useful and interesting. Um, if you did, uh, or if you didn't, I would still appreciate you to like, comment, and uh, subscribe, and feel free to share this video. Uh, until the next time, stay well, stay safe, and stay connected. All the best. Bye.